Hi guys, my name is Will, and welcome back to Will About Everything. This is the final episode in the Mario Kart series, so we're going to be doing some finishing touches and then finally getting to drive this on a big hill. I'm super excited for this video, so let's jump straight in. Okay, so we finished all the small details. Let me walk you through what we've done. So in the front here, using our heat gun, we bent our PVC around a half circle, and then we put another PVC on the bottom using T's to connect them, and then drilled holes and put more PVC in the inside to make a cool looking grill. And then on the grill, we have a 3D printed DK symbol, so all the competition knows who's driving the car. Up here, we have our 3D printed Donkey Kong that we turn into a hood ornament. That definitely makes it look somewhat like a Rolls Royce or a Ferrari. Kind of completes the whole look of the car, making it really look finished. At the back of the car, we added these big PVC, cut them at all different like shapes and sizes. They really make it look like that kind of whimsical Mario Kart look. Spray painted those black. Definitely look like some rocket boosters because in Mario Kart sometimes you get upgrades that send you flying forward. So we thought that would kind of be what they would come out of. And then actually inside the cart we put in our seat. We just added a piece of wood on the bottom to stabilize it, but it can still slide around because I found that if it was bolted in, it would be really difficult to actually get out of the cart. So just to make it easier to get in and out of the cart, I made it adjustable so I can bring it back and forward. And then I didn't tell you about this because I wanted it to be a surprise because it's definitely a super cool addition. I ended up making a shell shooter to shoot shells because in Mario Kart, you end up actually uh, collecting these shells from mystery boxes and then you get to throw them at your competition. So I thought, what would be cooler than throwing them? Shooting them out of a shell shooter on your cart. It's just made out of some PVC and using some springs, similar technology to our s'more maker. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta check that out. And you just pull it back and you let go and it flies. And that was definitely like our, just a kind of a last minute add on that we added to give a lot more life and make it even more like a Mario Kart. So now that all of our additions are done, it's time for the real test drive. We've looked around our neighborhood, we found a few hills we wanna drive down. So let's, let's go drive the cart. At the top of the hill, we pushed the cart up. Now, the only thing left to do is go down. <laughs> now we're actually pretty, picking up decent speed. That was, that was so fun. I actually wasn't expecting to pick up that much speed. I thought maybe we were gonna go like pretty slowly down the hill, but we ended up picking up some pretty good speed for having no engine and just going with the gravity. So I think we're gonna go for a round two to see if we can possibly pick up more speed or just to like, just to test out the car. Now we're on test drive two. The first test drive we picked up a lot more speed than I was expecting, but I wanna see how fast we were actually going. So we're gonna be using the speedometer app to see how fast we're actually going. Okay, let's go on run two. Two. Last part so far. About to hit the big part of the hill. 30 miles per hour. Okay, so we're definitely going the same speed. The handling's still holding up. It's definitely a good trip. So now looking at the stats from our speedometer, the fastest we actually got going was 9.9 .9 miles per hour. So I would say like pretty good for a car without an engine that we made in our garage. Definitely happy with how fast we were going. And we're gonna do a third run just for like cameras, try to get a few drone shots. Um, so let's go do that.
Thank you guys for watching World World Everything. I'm super happy how this build turned out. It just started off as a small sketch on a piece of paper and then turned out to be a Mario Kart that could actually drive in my neighborhood. If anyone's gonna build their own Mario Kart or Soapbox Derby car and have any questions about how I did it, make sure to drop a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.